Hi guys, it's your girl realtor Crystal Lee Moore here and I wanted to wish you a very happy July. This month we're talking about contractors and service providers who do work around your home and how to hire the right one. So the first thing to focus on is where do we find them? Can you just do a Google search? Should you be looking in the paper, driving around, looking at vans with printing on them? It's hard to tell. So the way I tell people and the way I do it myself, the first step is referrals. Ask your friends, ask your family, ask your realtor, ask your lender, ask everyone that you know and trust who you should use and if they know somebody who they think would be really, really great. And usually you can get a pretty good list that way. Sometimes it doesn't work. I'll tell you a story at the end of this that actually led to me doing a Google search and being very happy, but the first step is usually referrals. And once you have a list of referrals, what you wanna do, write all the information down and start making some phone calls and setting up some appointments. You'd like to meet these people face to face because they're gonna be doing some work for you. Usually with contractors, there's a quote, but not a definite price because things usually take a little bit longer than they're supposed to and might be a little bit more expensive. So meeting the people in advance and getting a good feeling is a really big part of that. And then the other thing is researching your options. So if there's an issue at your house or in your yard or whatever it is and you don't know what you should do, ask for ask your advice and ask a few people because it might be one person thinks you have, you have to completely change something, the other person thinks they can fix it, and then you get to make your informed decision at the end of the day. So questions that you should ask, they will be also, I'll put this on my website as well, but ask people how long they've been in the business and if they have references. It's a good idea to speak to people who have already worked with them, who can tell that tell you really how how did it actually feel to work with them and what was what was the experience actually like. I've heard some horror stories and I've heard some amazing stories as a realtor and I can tell you you want more of an amazing story. Another thing that you might want to ask is, is the person that you're meeting with the actual person that's going to be doing the work or is it going to be subcontracted out? That's an important thing to know. And it's also important that you know that they're insured and that they're doing things properly. You might want to know how long their business has been around because sometimes businesses that aren't around for very long or aren't maybe going to be around for very long, there's less trust there. There can be. Not always, but there can be. So, be on the lookout. This is our protection part. And this is, all these mail-outs come from Buffini & Company, which is the coaching company that I work with. And I love them because they're always very helpful. So, beware of doing businesses with contractors who do the following. Number one, give you a quote before seeing the job. Big red flag, you'd like them to see the job and then give you a quote. Demand a large deposit before um, or upfront to purchase materials. Most contractors will have a charge account with suppliers. So that's interesting to know. And insist that you sign a contract on the first visit. Once you've discussed the project with the contractor, they'll likely come back with a plan or drawings and a written estimate of a project. So that's a bit of a red flag. You want to make sure that those three things are not happening right away. And another, so I said I would tell you guys about what happened with me. So I have been looking for a gardener for my clients for so long and I couldn't find one. Everyone I asked, they would give me great landscapers and I know great landscapers, but I just needed for my clients someone who would come and do garden cleanup. Take away some stuff, throw some mulch in, do something with the hostas. I clearly know nothing about gardens, but just make it look better is really all I wanted and I could not find this person to save my life. Went through all the referrals and I, again, no one was spe was speaking up. So I finally went and I did a Google search. I just got so fed up, I said, okay, you know what, let's just do some interviews and we'll talk to some people. First thing I found with my Google search, which made me feel silly because I felt like I should have done it originally, was Gardens Simply Done and it was a man named Adam. Adam came by my house, checked out my backyard and he said, okay, this is what we're gonna do. And he made my backyard go from looking eh to ooh. And it's important because I live in a condo where part of my responsibility as an owner is to keep my yard looking great and I don't have that skill. So, 
Um, basically, sometimes Google works. If you'd like to be connected with Adam, I will be very, very happy to do so. And if you need anyone else, I have almost 300 businesses here in Guelph that I work with, all sorts of service providers, including a gardener now. I did not have a gardener before. And if you need to be connected or you'd like to be connected, just let me know. I'd be happy to help. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your month. I am so excited about the warm weather and I hope you're having fun and I look forward to speaking to you soon. I'm your Guelph Realtor, Crystal Lee Moore, and I hope you have a great day.